In this video, we will show you how to excise the strawberry meristem tip to eliminate virus as we do it here at Foundation Plant Services, University of California, Davis. My name is Sue Sim. Before excising the tip, we heat treat a mother plant with her runners attached for three to four weeks at 37 degrees C. Then we remove the runners, bring them into the sterile hood in the lab, and work under a dissecting stereo microscope. From this point on, everything is done aseptically with sterile instruments. Vetslava starts by trimming off the roots and the tops of the outer leaves. At the base of the leaf is a bud on a long stalk, and because of this long stalk, there's no resistance to the blade, making it difficult to excise, so she will discard it. Now she's turning the runner to find the next bud in the axle of the leaf base. Buds are arranged in a spiral around the center of the core, and normally you can harvest anywhere from three to six buds from most runners, depending on their age. Here's a nice bud on a shorter stalk. Uh, strawberry meristem tips are more difficult to see than some of the other crops that we work with because they are very hairy. Uh, however, it's nice they are some of the easiest to grow in tissue culture because they're so vigorous. She zoomed there from about 20 to 50 magnifications, so hopefully you can see the detail better. In the thickened area near the top is where the meristem dome surrounded by leaf primordia is located. While you're cutting, it helps to visualize plant morphology. We find that when we're training someone to do this, they often need to excise at least 100 buds uh, before they're comfortable with the location of the meristem tissue. Also, every runner is slightly different. Here's the bud. It measures less than a half a millimeter, and it will be planted in the growth medium. She'll continue to harvest the side buds in this manner until reaching the top of the crown. So now we've skipped ahead to the top or the apical bud at the top of the crown. The bud is rather deep in the crown tissue and it's surrounded by hair. You can see leaf primordia here. There they are. Often new people excise just a leaf without any meristem tissue. The leaf will grow a little bit but never develop any roots or shoots and then it will die. So this is a vegetative bud. In a separate video we'll show you a, sh a flower bud so that you know what it looks like. Uh, also a flower bud will not develop into a plant unless it has meristem tissue attached. Vatslava's technique here is excellent. Making these small cuts is extremely difficult to do and requires good eye-hand coordination. It's important to use sterile blades for each cut, which we didn't do in this video to save time. It's especially important for the final cut to avoid transferring any virus from older to younger tissue. Again, here's the, the bud. It measures less than a half a millimeter. It has several leaf primordia attached, and at this stage, is barely visible to the naked eye. So we plant the, this little micro shoot tip in growth medium, and in three to five months, it develops into a little plantlet with roots and leaves. Then we'll transfer it to potting mix, and at this stage, nurseries will come and get it and propagate it in a field for two to three years. Each one of these plants will become the mother of two to three million plants that are then grown in a production field for strawberry fruit production.